let's talk about the color wheel a little bit. I'm on page five in the notes. Color correction in the color wheel. The color in my print doesn't look right. And how many of us have heard this? So there's two bullet points there, which will give you an idea of what this whole color wheel thing is all about. Color correction is correcting an imbalance in the color cast of the image. Use the color wheel, which we're going to talk about in a minute, to help you determine the proper color balance. When judging for proper color balance in your image, look for neutrals such as white or gray. Correct for those neutrals and the rest of your colors generally will fall into place. So how does this color wheel thing fall into place? Well, let's talk about the primary colors first, which are red, green, and blue. We've all heard the phrase RGB and that's where it comes from. The complementary colors to these, which are across from them in the color wheel, the, the complementary color of red is cyan, complementary color of green is magenta, and the complementary color of blue is yellow. And if you've ever heard the phrase CMYK, cyan, magenta, yellow, and K for black ink. To correct an image with an improper color cast, add its complementary color to bring the color balance back to where it needs to be. So if your image has a red color cast, you're going to add some cyan to it. If your color, if it has a blue color cast, you're going to add some yellow to it, so on and so forth. However, this is really oversimplifying things quite a bit because in the real world, true primary colors don't exist. Bottom line, you probably need to use two colors in your RGB settings in Photoshop to correct your image. As, as an example, let's say your image has an orange cast, which is yellow plus red. You would add a combination of blue and or cyan, the complementary colors, to correct. Rules are made to be broken, so you should know that the neutral rule doesn't always apply. Uh, the best example of that is the sunset. I mean, you don't want to make a sunset neutral, for goodness sake. It's That's part of the appeal of a sunset. So if you want a free printable JPEG of this color wheel, you can go to that useful downloads page and print this out and tape it up next to your computer. Let me show you some examples. Let me go back in history here on my PowerPoint just a little bit. And here's an image that I said had a red U bias. What do we judge our color balance by? We're going to judge them by looking at the neutrals. Well, this is Mount Whitney. As you can see in the middle, that the mountains are indeed gray and the snow is indeed white. So if I look in the grays of Mount Whitney here at the top, it's got a red bias and a magenta bias and a blue bias and so on around the horn. And this, by the way, what you see here, these examples correspond to the color wheel that I showed you just a few minutes ago. So what we would do is if this image has a blue bias, we would add some red. Or if it's a bluish cyanish bias, we would add some red and some yellow to bring it back to a neutral. I hope that kind of makes sense to everybody.